Hello there guys and welcome back to How to Feed the Beast in Minecraft. A lot of you have been asking me to go back to covering forestry and more specifically beekeeping. So as promised at the end of the last video, today we are going to look at the acclimatizer. The acclimatizer is a machine from the forestry mod and is specifically used for bee breeding. Now all of the different types of bees have various different environmental requirements. Most of them require a specific type of plant or tree nearby, but as well as that each type of bee requires a specific temperature range and humidity range to be able to operate in. Now those requirements can be adjusted with selective breeding over time, but the acclimatizer helps us to speed the process along its way. Let's head on over to the apiaries and I'll see if I can give you an example. So okay let's fight our way through the trees to our apiarist chest and let's have, let's have a look at this water drone. Now this is actually a water common hybrid, it's a bee that I have bred together. Now obviously we can find this information out with our bee Eliza, which we made quite a while ago now by putting the bee in there and if we put it in the second slot it will tell us that its temperature requirement is normal, it's a normal climate, it doesn't have much of a tolerance and its humidity is damp. However it will survive in um, with a tolerance of plus or minus one. So let's go to the workshop and put our climatizer together. Okay, so here we are. Now, two of the ingredients you're going to need in order to make the acclimatizer are redstone and an apiarist's machine, both of which we have built before. But you're also going to need three water cans and three lava cans. Now, the easiest way of doing that probably is with the liquid transposer. There are a few other ways. You could use a magma crucible, for example, or even a squeezer in some cases, but the liquid transposer is the easiest way to get the liquid from a bucket and put it into a can. So let's start with the water ones first. We want to empty the water from the bucket into the liquid transposer. So we click that icon to empty bucket and the storage tank on the right will turn yellow so we're going to put our buckets of water in there we get our empty buckets back and we're going to put three buckets of water into the liquid transposer there we go three buckets of water now we're going to change that to fill and we are going to put three cans in the blue slot and that will give us three water cans now we're going to do exactly the same process with lava. We're going to put three lava buckets into the transposer. There we go. Change the icon back so we're now filling and three cans. One can of lava, two cans of lava, three cans of lava. Now unlike full buckets, at least those stack. So there we are, we're done with our liquid transposer. That was nice and quick. Over to our crafting table, our apris machine in the centre, redstone above and below, the three water cans down the left hand side and the three lava cans down the right hand side. And there we go, we have our acclimatizer. So let's go and find somewhere outside to put it. So I've decided my acclimatizer is going to live right here behind the liquid DNA tank. The reason for that is because it is a forestry machine, it requires build craft power. And because I already have some engines here with a supply of peat, the easiest way for me to do this was to extend the peat tubes and put another engine at the end. Now that's facing the wrong way. So let's give it a bit of a smack with a crescent hammer. So there are four things that the acclimatizer can do. We can raise a bee's temperature tolerance so it can work in hotter environments and we can do that with lava buckets or lava capsules, cans of lava and blaze powder. We can cool down a bee and lower the temperature in which it can work using ice or snowballs. We can raise the bee's tolerance to humidity so it can work in more humid climes using water buckets, water capsules, cans of water and we can also lower the bees humidity tolerance so it can work in drier climates 
using sand. And that's what we're going to do with our watery bee. So, here's our interface. We have our space for the bee in the center. We have our input for our material on the left and our power here. Let's get the engines running because it will lose power quickly. So we're going to put our bee in here which works in normal temperature but prefers damper humidity and we are going to use sand and try and raise its tolerance a little so that it works better in normal humidity. Now you may require more than one piece of sand or bucket of water or lava depending on what you are doing because even though you only ever see things like hot, normal or icy or damp, medium or dry, it does depend a little bit on some numbers that you can't actually see. Now the acclimatizer will let you raise or lower a bee's tolerance to a maximum of plus or minus five. So it may actually require the use of more than one item. Also on top of that, different bees have a limit to the amount of tolerance that can be adjusted. So we've done that, what, four times now? Let's take it out of there because we need power to recharge anyway. Back to our Bealizer and let's drop him in there in the second slot. So you can see now he has a tolerance of plus or minus two. Still prefers damp humidity, but we have managed to adjust his tolerance and throw him on the floor. And we can go and pop him in one of our apiaries. We are going to need a princess though. We don't have a lot of exciting princesses in here. Uh, let's take a marshy princess. Pop her in. Now they're going to breed up. Now, to have watery bees, you do need lily pads around. That is the flower requirement. As you can see, I do have a few around here. And there we go, we are producing bees. Admittedly, we now have a marshy queen, but the good thing is that tolerance that we have adjusted on that drone will now filter down to their young as well. So, it's not a solution to every single problem you're going to have with bees because some bees do have a tolerance that is just so far outside the norm there's no way to adjust it in a single generation with the acclimatizer. You may need to do it over the course of several generations. But at least you now know how to build and use one. Well there you go guys, not the most exciting or complicated machine in forestry or feed the beast but nonetheless it has its uses. And I hope as always you found this video informative and entertaining, if you have please like, share and subscribe because it's you guys that are helping this channel to grow. And if you have any ideas for things you'd like to see in future videos, if there is a particular machine, item or mod you'd like to see me build and demonstrate, send me a message or leave it in the comments below and I will add it to the list. So until next time, goodbye for now.